So what we're going to see today uh, is uh, basically how we can use these tools and take all this information from these previous ses sessions and see some of this in action. As I said, we're going to do a live demo. It's going to be less slideware, more actual product. Uh, so we're going to see how we use QTest for our agile management uh, for end-to-end -end, uh, testing in our software development lifecycle. We're going to see how we can basically consolidate all this data and use QTest as a single pane of glass. Uh, we're going to use Vera for digital validation. Now, what does that mean? We're going to use it for approvals. Uh, so let's say that you actually want proof is in the pudding, where you're saying, OK, you're, you said you're OK with my requirement. You said you're OK with this test. Well, I really want you to actually document that. I don't want you just to just say to me in a meeting or um, you know, just have it conversationally. We actually want to put that on paper, and we want to store that information long term. Now, this is a bigger requirement in regulated industries, uh, life science companies, pharmaceutical companies, medical devices, autonomous vehicles, uh, aerospace. They typically have these requirements, but we can apply these across the board if you feel you need a little more vigor around your review and approval processes. Uh, we're going to use Testum. So we had a previous session on Tosca, but we also have automation tools uh, that are specifically for web and app testing, and that's, that's Testum. Uh, and we're going to see how we can use that for functional testing. And we're going to look a little bit at NeoLoad as well for performance testing, which we got a good preview of in the previous session as, as well.